Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Mizi69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the T558A uh, which has arrived back in Blitz stores. It's pretty much the same as the T54 in T9, however this is a hybrid nation, uh, I think it's actually a German tank. The DPM is exactly the same as the T54, however it does have slightly better DPM, uh, sorry, uh, penetration at 219. It has the same alpha, same rate of fire, same reload, same caliber gun, but it also has a better shell velocity. Same aim time, same dispersion, same speed, um, but it does have slightly worse armor. So the whole armor is 100, or on the T54 it's 120, and the turret armor is 180, and the T54 is 200. So there's some things that are better than that on this tank, and there is some things that are better on the T54. Now I like that with uh, premium tanks that are pretty much the same as Tetri tanks. I don't think they should be better. Um, so this I don't think is better. It's better in some aspects, but then it's worse in other aspects. So. I'm not sure how much this has exactly come into stores because I'm doing the, the video before it's hit the stores, but the last time it come for sale, it was only 10,000 gold, which I think is actually, uh, it's, it's reasonable. For a, tier, for a tier nine tank, that's actually a really, really good price. Um, as you can see, the armor, I mean, the front plate, the turret, uh, you can get up to around 227 millimeters on the turret, 300 there on the sides if you are side scraping. So. 184, 224. So you can side scrape in this tank. You can face hug in this tank. Um, other than that, if you're looking directly into a tank, you're not going to bounce too much. Whereas on the T54, you can bounce on the front plate quite easily and the turret. So depending on what you want, if you want penetration or if you want armor, if you want armor, then the T54 is the tank. If you want penetration, then the T55 is the tank. So we're gonna get into a couple of battles, uh, one from Bradley and one from myself. So he's on Falls Creek and he is top tier. I like this tank. I honestly do like this tank. And I think one of my first videos on this tank, I said it's probably not worth getting because it's exactly the same as the T54. Um, but it's still a premium tank, or it's still a um, enriched tank, shall I say? So I don't think it's uh, it's not a collectible. It's an enriched tank, and it goes to your collection. So if it comes for sale like it did uh, the last time for ten thousand gold, then I would actually recommend this tank. I really would, um, because it's it's a nice tank, and it can hold. The only thing I find with this tank, but that's the same with a lot of tier nines, is you do come up against a lot of tier tens. It's not so often that you come up against tier eights. Uh, however, Bradley does just that, this battle. Um, so he's capping, he's cap C. He, he's playing quite aggressive up, and he, as you can see, he does get a, a, a bounce or a shot on him, a penetration from the Lerva there. Uh, so he's playing quite aggressively. This this thing hasn't got the greatest of gun depressions. So you you do have to be careful when you are going up these ridge lines because you have to go quite far up. And because you're going quite far up, you are exposing your hole and you're exposing your side. So you do need to be careful when you are going up ridges because the gun depression is just not good at all. So there goes the Lerva, two tanks down to the enemy, one tank down, and now the, the T-32 on the enemy team finds himself all alone and he's going to get rushed by quite a few tanks and the t32 is not one of those tanks um, that can really hold its own against four or five different tanks so that's him gone and it now just leaves four tanks and all of a sudden the is3 is just trying to be the hero don't worry guys i'll get these five tanks all by myself i've got it however he does take out the t49 um he's just been wrecked he's ignoring He's, I do like actually what the T50 uh, IS3 is doing here. He's ignoring these two tanks around here and he wants to go for the one shot. And that's exactly what he did. And it paid off. So for the sh short time being, it was actually four against three until the IS3 went. And it, now it's a three versus three. So the enemy could actually win. And if they do win, it could actually be down to that YOLO in IS3 who decided to ignore all the uh, high hit point tanks and go for the lower hit points. Um, unfortunately, Brad has just been absolutely ripped apart from the T49, I think. 
Um, is it a T49? No, yeah, the T49. So he's now a one shot. So he's going to use this standard B. Well, I thought he was going to use this standard B as cover, um, but he's now going to go and face hug or side hug, which this thing is really good at doing. And he gets away with it. He gets a bounce and he clears the T49 for his second kill, just leaving now one tank left. And it's now still three against one. Um, it's still three tanks are left. And it's now just this T92, who is a one shot if you can high roll um one well definitely now is a one shot i don't know if he's actually i think he does get the kill i think he does get the kill he's going to come back he's going to reverse and he does get the kill for his third kill so gg four thousand i think it's a bit more than what the banner says because he had a bit of ramming damage um four thousand six hundred and forty seven he gets the ace makes him a little bit of credits as well at forty one thousand which isn't the best credit earner um but still making credits in tier nine is welcoming 1428 base xp so he did a pretty good job he did a pretty good job he only missed one shot and he got nearly 500 supremacy points so well done bradley thank you for sending me that replay next up we have myself and we are on desert sands uh it is supremacy and we do lose this one unfortunately we do lose this battle and when i'm watching the battle back there is a few things that i could have changed i mean i had a really good game i i do have a really good game but because it's supremacy um i hate losing in supremacy i really hate losing in supremacy especially when you could easily win if it wasn't supremacy 100 percent you would win um but i do I like playing. I do also like playing supremacy because it just it changes. Sometimes it changes uh, the gameplay. I mean, if it's just encounter, some people would just go all left. Um, but when it's supremacy, some people go left, some people go right, and it's pretty much uh, cap the base, and we'll see if we can win. And as you can see, within a minute of the game, two bases from the enemy have already been caught. So they have already caught two bases and so we need to start getting some kills but this cdc now is pretty much all on his own around here there is a, a light tank the t49 and he does take out the t92 e1 so i'm going to stay for now and we are hopefully going to deal with this type 59 i do get a bounce I do get a bounce and he is going to push forward and I'm going to get one more shot, put him on fire and now I'm just going to leave him hoping the T49 is going to take him out before he shoots me. Um, but instead, the waffle does the job instead. So one kill, it's now five against four and it's looking pretty easy for us and it should be uh, a nice solid win. However, they still got the two bases. Now, what I should have done here is I should have just gone to cap base B. I should have gone to cap base B. Instead, I went to help our heavy, our IS-3 defender, um, and I couldn't really, I got one shot off on the Tiger, um, but there is the ISU-152 as well. So already that's now two tanks down, and because of that, that has pushed their supremacy points now to about 700. So we do get a shot, and still, even with the supremacy points, I'm like, right, okay, let's go for the kills and ignore the bases, because there's only now three tanks left alive. We should easily be able to take these tanks out before the supremacy points runs out. So that was my first mistake. I should have definitely have gone for the, the base B at least, and maybe but there's no fast tanks. There's no medium tanks. I probably, I probably could have even got base C as well, and this would have been a win. This would have been a win. If I would have capped at least one of those, one of those at just B, this would have been a win. So we're going to go and rush. There goes the Tiger 2, and now there's just two tanks left. And I'm thinking, right, 830, again, there's, there's still three of us. There's still three of us. I'm going to take a few shots from the T32 because I can. I have the DPM, um, but again, the waffle there shouldn't have exposed himself against an ISU-152. He should have just gone hiding. If he would have hid, again, we would have won this game. So... 980 995 oh, we just managed to take out that guy uh, but because of the supremacy points is really it, it's game over game over 1000 supremacy points for the enemy and we leave the isu on a one shot so unlucky again a few mistakes from a few of us on the team the t49 could have easily gone to cap bases but we still finish on 5778 damage 108000 credits as well so not a bad game not a bad game it was a loss but still we wouldn't have got that much more damage um and, and that is the t55 a uh, good tank if it comes cheap enough i would definitely recommend it it's a fun tank to play just like the t54 is so i hope you enjoyed that video guys i'm easy 69 and i'll catch you all soon bye bye